J'ai rien là Il me faut une information, vite Nous nous pensions que cette attaque est sur le nombre limité. Nous sommes en train de nous faire une attaque globale. Nous sommes en train de nous faire une attaque globale. Nous sommes en train de nous faire une attaque globale. Hey everyone, I'm Casey Hudson. Now, the Mass Effect series was designed from the very beginning to be a trilogy. The first two games have been foreshadowing an all-out galactic war with an ancient machine race known as the Reapers. Well, on March 6, 2012, that war will begin. The Earth has been taken, and the Reapers have laid a path of destruction in their wake. As Commander Shepard, only you can rally the forces of the galaxy to mount a counter-offensive big enough to stop them. Now, we're giving our longtime fans the amazing opportunity that they've been waiting for to see how all the choices that they've made, made along the way have led to this critical breaking point. And we're giving players new to the series an opportunity to jump into the Mass Effect universe when the action and the tension will be at its absolute peak. This is all-out galactic war. So let's jump into a live demo played by our combat designer, Corey Gasper. In this demo, Shepard is attempting to destroy a Reaper base. And with the Normandy overhead and a fleet in orbit, Commander Shepard's going to call in some heavy firepower. Joker, the Geth blast shield is open. Ready to take out this base? Roger that. Normandy's weapon systems are ready to sink to your target. I recommend you withdraw to a safe distance. Backup is inbound.
All right. Now that's just a small taste of what we're doing with the scale of the battles in Mass Effect 3. But Mass Effect 3 isn't just about these huge moments. It's intense action combat, it's decisions with huge consequences and sacrifice. And it's all wrapped up in a story of tremendous emotional impact. This is why Mass Effect 3 will be the best game in the series. Find out for yourselves on March 6, 2012, when the Reapers arrive. So thank you. Make sure you visit origin.com to see even more from Mass Effect 3. And right now, the world debut of our first gameplay trailer, The Fall of Earth. Shepard warned us they were coming. But we didn't listen. Now the fate of our world. Of every world. Rests in his hands. Stop them. We fight or we die. That's the point. Good afternoon, and welcome to EA's Game Changers. I'm John Riccatello. And today we're kicking off E3 with a preview of new games and new services you'll see in the next 12 months. At EA, we do it a little different. We don't build elaborate stages and invite random celebrities for guest appearances. <laughs> we keep it simple. A small stage, a big screen, and nine developers out here to show you their games. You just saw Mass Effect, an epic franchise that won so many awards last year. For the next game, the development team at BioWare has promised to make Mass Effect even more exciting. You can see more of Mass Effect 3 and other games at Origin.com, a new service for viewing and downloading exclusive content from EA and EA partners. Check it out at Origin.com. Now next up is a racing franchise with a revolutionary online experience we call Autolog. Here's Jason DeLong from our Black Box Studio in Vancouver to show you Need for Speed, The Run. Thanks, John. Hi, everyone. Over the past few years, the team at Black Box has been hard at work creating an all-new action racing experience. Need for Speed, The Run is an illicit, high-stakes race across the country where you will battle hundreds of the world's most notorious drivers to be the first from San Francisco to New York. Need for Speed The Run is packed with breakneck speed, intense chase and race sequences, the hottest cars on the planet, and a relentless force willing to use any lethal means to take you down. Last year, the addition of Autolog changed the way people play Need for Speed. It has revolutionized how people connect, communicate, and compete with each other by comparing their stats against their friends. This year, we're upping the ante even further by weaving Autolog into the game's story. Now, your entire career is tracked by Autolog, so every second of every race counts as you race your friends to New York. But that's not all. This year, we're also pushing the action forward out of the car. That's right, for the first time ever in Need for Speed, players will place intense, high action moments on foot, as well as in car. Using the cutting edge Frostbite 2 engine, Need for Speed The Run will revolutionize the way you race with its gameplay, graphics, and storytelling. But enough talk. Let's jump straight into the live software demo on live TV. No pressure.
civilian helicopter firing on traffic in the financial district. I want all available units on scene now. Thanks for the warm welcome. Good afternoon. We made a lot of games at BioWare. Big RPGs like Baldur's Gate, Neverwinter Nights, Mass Effect, and Dragon Age. Hey, you liked it. Thanks. <laughs> Star Wars is in another class. We've never done anything this big, but size and hours of gameplay don't even come close to capturing the enormity of this experience. Being trusted by Lucasfilm, one of the most epic stories ever told, organizing an army of the world's best artists, engineers, designers, and producers, meeting and hopefully exceeding the expectations of the most loyal and demanding audience in the history of entertainment. As intimidating as that is, the biggest challenge we face is in communicating what we've made, the world of dreams, emotion, and character that we've put into this game. It's bigger than words, bigger than a trailer, bigger than anything I can show you here on the stage on live TV. The older public really represents years of my life and the lives of the teams across BioWare Studios worldwide. It represents huge devotion and sacrifice, and it's been absolutely worth it. This week at E3, we're showing a lot, a lot of new amazing content. Raids, Tatooine, hands-on gameplay, epic high-level boss battles, and much more. But I'm not going to talk you into playing this game. I'm not going to convince you to play it. Just play it, get lost in it, and live in it. Thank you. For centuries, the galaxy knew peace. Struck the Republic. Reclaimed. 
reclaiming our ancient home. Now we must defend the Republic. Now we begin our true assault. And though many have died, Though the Republic fights on. We will prevail. We will destroy them. That's incredible. We can't wait for SSX at EA Sports. Good afternoon to everyone here in Los Angeles and to the millions more watching on television and online. It's always great to be here at E3, particularly when we're premiering SSX, which is the fans have been waiting for for many, many years. We couldn't be more excited. We're reinventing this great franchise, inviting fans to defy reality and own the planet through incredible new gameplay and a massive open world. Let me be clear, I mean massive using NASA satellite data to scan the globe and bring a ridiculous level of content to the game, we will let players explore and drop into every major mountain range on the planet. You want to talk about gameplay? As you just saw, we have three unique gameplay experiences that push the bounds of reality in true SSX fashion. Race it, trick it, and survive it. They are three distinct new ways to play the game, which you will get to do all week at the show. 
Of course, no conversation about SSX is complete without talking about the game's unique characters. Be sure to check out Origin.com for an exclusive trailer on Kaori, one of the all-time SSX greats. We will release one new character on the SSX, fa uh, SSX Facebook page before the end of E3. SSX hits the slopes next January. As we continue to involve the unique experience that is sports video games, we're delighted to have two more of our best franchises from EA Sports here to show you today, including FIFA, the biggest sports game on the planet. Quality, authenticity, and connectivity define this great franchise and explain why FIFA is the most critically a game sports table of this console generation. With FIFA 11, the team has earned 51 awards around the world, and our fans have played a staggering 1.3 billion online game sessions. And in the past year, more than 42 million consumers have enjoyed the thrill of FIFA. They're playing on Xbox and PS3. They're playing on the Wii and on the PC. They're playing on their smartphones, on their iPads, and on Facebook. They're playing FIFA whenever and wherever they want. FIFA is, quite simply, the world's game. And to give you a world premiere presentation on FIFA 12, please welcome Matt Bilby, the Vice President and General Manager of Football here at EA Sports. Thank you, Peter. This year we have what we believe to be the most advanced engine and tech in the industry. And this, without question, will be the most authentic FIFA ever. We are delivering a revolution in the full 90 minutes on the pitch. Let's take a look at the trinity of gameplay features in FIFA 12. It starts with all new tactical defending. We've made defending as skillful and as meaningful as it is in the real world, where timing and tactics are crucial. Positioning is now as important as the tackling. Alongside our new defending system, we're giving you more control of the ball with our all new precision dribbling. Players will be able to take deft touches on the ball and maintain possession in close quarters and have more control of the pace of the game for many new attacking possibilities. And our biggest gameplay innovation since moving to next gen, the Player Impact Engine. More than two years in development, the Player Impact Engine enables us to deliver real-world physicality to every interaction on the pitch. Now players take dramatic falls, suffer true injuries, and maintain momentum to fight through tackles and challenges, and push and pull one another as they fight for the ball. We are barely alpha, yet everyone who has played the game said the same thing. FIFA 12 is already the best playing FIFA ever. In addition to delivering unparalleled authenticity and our commitment to innovation, our game provides a unique connection to the world's sport. Football and FIFA unite the world like nothing else. I truly love the game of soccer, and I live my passion for it through FIFA. FIFA is obviously the next best thing to being on the pitch. FIFA is more than just a video game. It's pretty hard for an African player to make it to the world stage, but FIFA has made my dreams come true. I hope I'm making Africa real proud. Eu nunca fiquei tanto tempo parado por causa de uma lesão. Durante esse período, o meu conforto era estar jogando FIFA. Some guys watch videos, some guys watch highlights. I play FIFA. Playing FIFA helps players. They can see the game, they think about football. You know who your strong players are, you know who your weak players are, you know who to get the ball to. For me as a coach, it gives me a stronger overview of the teams I'm playing against. As coisas que eu jogo no videogame, eu tento fazer no campo. FIFA is so realistic now. You don't really know about a player and you can see if they're right or left footed and it helps you go into the game. We know the boys are all visual learners and we see it as a vital part of their education. This game, it actually takes skill and technique. I often play a game before I go to the studio just to stimulate the mind. That's a lot like what I do musically. Before I go into the studio, I have a game plan. Oh, I was good. I love 
love the game of soccer. I'm living my passion through FIFA. Our game, <laughs> our game brings people from around the world closer to the sport they love and closer to the millions of fans who live their passion through FIFA. This year, our fans will live that passion through a new service that is bigger, more social, and more connected than anything ever done in video games. This is the EA Sports Football Club. EA Sports Football Club is about four big things. It's the heartbeat of FIFA, a live service that is fresh and new all the time, connecting players to the real world of football. All year long, we will be injecting challenges and storylines that are taken right from the week's biggest matches. At its core, it's social, a revolutionary way for fans to connect and compete with millions of players from around the world. Football Club ignites the passion of football fans and deepens their connection to their club. And it will create persistence and presence across platforms. EA Sports Football Club kicks off with FIFA 12 at no additional charge. And in the future, we'll connect you to your friends and enable progression across all our FIFA experiences on Facebook, iPhone, iPad, or PC. So whenever you play and whatever you play on, you'll be earning rewards and achievements that fuel that one single identity across platforms and through the years. Here's a quick look at how EA Sports Football Club will work in FIFA 12. Football Club instantly connects me to the millions of FIFA fans around the world. My friends can choose their favorite team, and through Football Club, we connect and compete. Tottenham Hotspurs are my team, so I'll choose them as my club in FIFA 12. Everything I do in FIFA 12 contrib contributes to my experience points and level progression, and I can track the progress of my friends at the top of my leaderboard. And in EA Sports Football Club, it's driven by the real world. Here is a challenge to, ch to avenge Tottenham's defeat at the hands of Man City on May the 10th. If I take on this challenge and I win, I progress on my leaderboards and I earn redemption. I'm also playing alongside Tottenham fans and everything we do in FIFA 12 can push Spurs to the top of the virtual leagues. And my EA Sports Football Club experience is persistent. Wherever I am, I can share my achievements and news, keep track of everything on Football Club via my mobile or our website. With EA Sports Football Club, Along with our gameplay revolution and other innovations we'll announce later this year, FIFA 12 is the next generation of sports game. We invite you to see more on the best ever FIFA E3 and see more FIFA stories at origin.com. Thank you. Understand that battles are primarily won in the hearts of men. Well, men, let me see your hearts. Vic is waiting for you. It's waiting on me because defense wins championships. Victory 
is waiting for me because one game brings means of people together. A new champion is crowned. True to the game. Go ahead. I'm just a little scared to get close. Ladies and gentlemen, of my far left, all-world linebacker for the Baltimore Ravens, Mr. Ray Lewis. This young man right here, the pride of Arkansas and the running back for the Cleveland Browns and the fans vote for the cover of Madden 12, Mr. Peyton Hillis. And last but not least, Pride of USC, and more importantly, Super Bowl champion, linebacker, Clay Matthews of the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> so, Ray, you know a thing about defense. Defense is important, right? I know a little bit about it. You know a little bit about defense. <laughs> so you're going to love our new collision system and the new defensive AI that's coming in Madden 12, modeled on you. Peyton, are you a clutch player? Always. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Because you're going to love what we're doing with dynamic player performance. It's all about whether you have confidence when things are going wrong. If you fumble the ball, do you want to go back right in there and pick it up again and run for coach? Do you? Yes, sir. That's my man. And then finally, Clay, we just saw Coach Lombardi. You've probably heard of him in Green Bay. I've heard of him. I heard of him. All right. <laughs> he was all about building dynasties. Is this Green Bay Packer team going to be a dynasty? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. This year, these guys embody the passion and the emotion and the excitement that it's all about the NFL that we bring in Madden. And what we have built here for Madden 12 is built by the fans and for the fans, making sure that we bring the emotion that these men have here on the stage to the game itself. We're creating the most complete, the most authentic, and the most emotion-filled Madden NFL franchise in history. Madden kicks off on August the 30th, and it's part of an EA Sports lineup that this year, without question, will deliver the quality and the core innovation that our fans love. Additionally, our new connected experiences will unite our worldwide community and redefine the sports experience to ever. Thanks to the millions of you at EA Sports Nation that have contributed to our growth, and we look forward to seeing you all on the booth at the show. Thank you, and a round of applause for these guys. So Madden 12 looks terrific with new online features and the ability to connect to players wherever they play. Our vision is to let you take your game, your score, your profile across platforms from PC to mobile to Facebook. It's a whole new way to play. And at EA, we're building that capability into our biggest franchises. Now today, we're announcing The Sims Social, which brings the best Sims experience to Facebook. There's a lot of fans waiting for this one, including a lot of Facebook players tired of robotic games based on agriculture. Ah. Now, The Sims Social is completely different. It's alive. <laughs> In The Sims Social, you play with your friends. You play with life. I'd like you to take a look. Oh, 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 oh,
I'm gonna make you sweat I know you won't forget Next, we want to show you two new games coming from EA Partners, publisher of the world's best independent developers. A few of them are with us today, and quite a few here in the audience. Now, speaking of the audience, a quick shout out from my friend Don Matrick, president of the, the Microsoft Interactive Division that runs the Xbox business. And I see my friends here from Sony Computer Entertainment. Welcome. Great to have you part of the show. Roll them. Um, now, <laughs> next up is a Boston Red Sox pitcher who became a legend in the World Series. Today, he's about to become a legend in the world of video games. Please welcome the founder and CEO of 38 Studios, Kurt Schilling. <laughs> I, I honestly, <laughs> thanks. I honestly never thought I'd say this, truthfully say this, but standing up here th talking about 38 Studios first title, Reckoning, is every bit as exciting and exhilarating as talking about any of the three World Series that I had a chance to take part in. But uh, let's dive into Reckoning. Amalur is a world of infinite possibility and endless choice. And Reckoning places you at the heart of an epic war, giving you the power to change the fate and destiny of every living creature, including the world itself. Reckoning's fast and fluid combat makes this game the first of its kind. A huge open world with potentially hundreds of hours of gameplay filled with magic, wonder, danger, and a design led by oblivion and Morrowind creator and RPG icon, Ken Ralston. Given life through the artistic vision of Grammy award-winning and world-renowned artist, Todd McFarlane, and bound together through the immersive storytelling of New York Times best-selling author, Ari Salvatore, I'm so incredibly proud of what these people have created and so excited to be standing up here to show you this today, so I hope you love this as much as I do. Thank you. Next, some great news for fans of Insomniac, which has given us great games like Ratchet and Clank and Resistance. Please welcome to the stage President and CEO of Insomniac Games, Ted Price. <laughs> Thanks, John. We at Insomniac Games have waited a long time to share our new multi-platform franchise. Most of you know us on the PlayStation platforms, but we're excited to expand to the Xbox audience. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so on behalf of the entire studio, allow me to introduce Overstrike. Overstrike blends Insomniac's flair for exotic weaponry, immersive storytelling with a touch of humor. Set in the near future, Overstrike follows a team of four elite agents obliterating enemy strongholds using fringe tech gadgets and lethal teamwork. So, 
Who was over strike nine? A reformed mercenary, a mischievous lifelong thief, a gifted but rebellious young scientist, and a decorated detective with a bit of temper. Collectively, they're the misfits, the black sheep even their own agency tries to ignore. But now, the shadowy organization threatens to wipe out mankind, and Overstrike 9 is the only option left. But enough from me, let's meet Overstrike 9. Can I get some coffee in here? Black two sugars. <sighs> Dalton Brooks, Overstrike Agent Bravo 6 Tango. Clearance level 7. Headache level 9. Mr. Brooks, how would you describe yourself? Well, I like to think of myself as um, a people person. <laughs> Kimball's a pacifist, calm and cool, like a Buddhist monk. And Naya Devereaux, she's been accused of breaking protocol on more than one occasion. Huh, really? I've never seen her break protocol. Great kid. Absolutely surgical in the field. Then how do you explain the collateral damage your team leaves in its wake? Enthusiasm? I serve breakfast. Thank you. I'm here all the way from the DICE studio in Stockholm to present to you Battlefield 3. Our team has been together for more than 10 years, and I'm really proud of what they're doing back home. This is the game that we've always wanted to make, and it will be the best Battlefield experience ever. There's nothing I can say to you now that is more powerful than showing you the game, but before we jump into our live demo, I'd like to share a video on how we are going to give you the best first-person shooter this holiday. And it all starts with our brand new game engine. Frostbite 2 is the next generation technology for the current generation of platforms.
Thank you. Frostbite 2's superior performance allows us to deliver a more physical battlefield experience. The game comes alive with all the sights, sounds, movements, and action of real, world, real war, both in single player and multiplayer. The Battlefield series has always been known for its best-in-class multiplayer with a full-scale destruction, wide range of vehicles across huge maps. So let's take a peek at what Battlefield 3 multiplayer is all about. This is Operation Metro, an infantry-focused map in the center of Paris. We bring all of this together with a great social experience we're calling Battlelog. It's a service that adds a hub of powerful social tools where gamers can connect, communicate, and play with friends. You can launch the game, manage friends lists, squad up, create platoons, check out your stats in real time, and it's all 100% free. Also, today, I'm happy to announce that you will be able to experience all this for yourself before the game is released with our multi-platform open beta in September. Also, make sure to check out the Battlefield multiplayer trailer at origin.com. It should be up there right now. Now, you've seen Battlefield 3 infantry combat before, but it's time to head to the barren dust bowl of the Tehran desert as we launch an all-out tank assault on the deadly enemy forces known as the PLR. I would like to introduce Patrick Bach, the executive producer of the franchise. And he is here to present a live demo for us, so uh, keep your thumbs, uh, thumbs crossed. Thank you. Have a nice show.
Enemy armor destroyed in sector. Advance and...
That looks terrific. Battlefield 3 coming on October 25th. And thanks to Patrick Bach for that live demo. Now we've got the best game running on the best game engine with no subscription fee for online gameplay and services. You can download it at origin.com for free beginning October 25th. Now, that's really it. Nine games by nine of the most talented development teams on the planet. That's our preview for 2011. If you're here with us on Los Angeles, I really hope you enjoy the show. And for those watching on television, I hope you loved our games. Thanks very much. Enjoy the afternoon. Thank you.